Interpret is in almost every home in the United States. Being such a popular product, there's a lot of different styles of carpet. And today, we're gonna go through those so you can make sure you find the right one for your home. Hi, my name is Vinny Verga, and I'm here today with Floors Uncovered. We're doing this video because today we wanna help you simplify fiber types and the science behind carpet. Over 90% of carpet made today is made using a synthetic fiber. In fact, there's three very common types of synthetics which are primarily used to make carpets. And we're gonna discuss those on this video. Nylon carpet is found in a lot of homes. In fact, it's been very popular for a very long time. It's because of nylon's properties that it's so popular and been used in so many different homes, making it the most common fiber type. Nylon is the leader when it comes to appearance retention and carpet fibers. What we mean by appearance retention is that the carpet, when it's walked on, often mats down, which is where the pile crushes. Nylon is an extremely durable type of fiber, and so it's less likely to crush down. It's very good at bouncing back and regaining its form of when the carpet was made. If you think of seat belts or tires on an airplane, um, or even nylon socks is something that comes to mind, they're very stretchy. That's stretchiness actually is strength, which allows the fiber to move and then form back to the form that it was created in. So same principle applies to nylon fiber carpet. Nylon also has some great fade and heat resistance, which makes it also a really great carpet fiber for commercial settings. Finally, they can do a lot with color in nylon, which can create some really unique styles and designs. When it comes to nylon, there are different types of nylon fibers, but you should know that Nylon 6.6 is the leading nylon fiber when it comes to performance. It's the best nylon that you can invest in. And when it comes to Nylon 6.6, you can't do any better than Stainmaster. Stainmaster has the best warranties of any nylon. And what's really great about Stainmaster is there is more things done with that solution applied to the Nylon 6.6 fiber than any other solution, which makes it the best stain resistant nylon they make. The next fiber type is polyester. And polyester is actually the fastest growing fiber type in the flooring industry today. And the reason is that polyester is an incredibly stain resistant fiber. In fact, it's more stain resistant than nylon in its natural form. While polyester has great stain resistant qualities, it is not as durable, so it will mat out before nylon will. In fact, if you're debating which fiber to use, these are two things to keep in mind. When it comes to an identical nylon and polyester, meaning that they're the same ounce weight and the same style of carpet, the nylon carpet will stain out before the polyester does, meaning if you were to spill drinks, or if a pet were to have an accident, or if you were to be tracking soil in on your shoes, the nylon carpet would fade out before the polyester would. However, with these same two fibers, if you were walking through the rooms, the polyester would mat down and get ugly because of foot traffic before the nylon would. The other thing is when it comes to investment, nylon is more expensive. The fiber is harder to make into a carpet and therefore your investment level is going to be higher than that of polyester. So if you're shopping on a budget, then polyester definitely is going to be a better value. But if this is your forever home, then nylon certainly has its advantages. When it comes to polyesters, the best polyester is a PET polyester. Easy to remember because the acronym stands for PET. PET polyesters are often solution dyed, which means that they are very stain resistant beyond the fiber's normal stain resistant capabilities. In fact, most manufacturers give them a lifetime stain resistant warranty. We're gonna talk about another type of fiber that some people call its own distinct fiber, but it's actually not, and that's Triexta. Triexta is declared to be its own fiber type, but actually if you look online, you'll be able to find that Triexta is really just a polyester branded by one of the manufacturers. So while it is given its own name, it has the same properties and qualities of polyester, in fact, a PET polyester. Polypropylene is another type of fiber that is used for carpets. It's most common in commercial carpets. They make a lot of polypropylenes as a less expensive, but still well-performing alternative to nylon. In addition, area rugs are a lot of times made out of polypropylenes. The benefits of polypropylene is really that in the manner in which it's constructed, it holds a dye very well, so they can do a lot with colors with it. 
In addition, the polypropylene itself does have really good fade and heat resistance in the way that they make the fiber. It's an alternative to nylon, and it's one that's usually less expensive, but it's not quite as durable when it comes to uh, wear and tear from foot traffic. Now, beyond those three types of fibers, there is another type of fiber, though it's not nearly as common as any of the other three, and that's wool. Wool is a natural fiber, and it's in fact what carpets were made out of for a long time. Most wool today comes from New Zealand or Argentina. And being that it's a natural product, it has a lot of great benefits to it. Wool is a very luxurious material. So if that's the look you're going for in your home, it's definitely the right fiber to create that look and that high design style. And wool actually is very resistant to foot traffic. That's why it's so common on runners for hallways and stairs. One of the downsides to wool is that being a natural fiber, it's incredibly porous. So it wants to pull moisture in. So stains or anything spilt or pet accidents are gonna have a hard time getting out of that fiber. The other thing about wool is being that it came from a natural animal, it sheds just like your dog or cat would. You can actually pull clumps of wool off of the carpet as the fiber itself will shed over time. Wool being made from a natural fiber is significantly more of an investment than even Nylon 6.6. In fact, typically wool is going to be at least double, if not more, than what you would pay for some of the other carpet fibers. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, leave a like, and while you're down there, comment which fiber you would choose for your home if you were doing a carpet project. Next week, we will be talking about carpet styles, so don't forget to subscribe.